this is Daniel King, and today I want to take you to a mission field that's full of people that really need Jesus. The natives in this mission field, they do body modification. They pierce their skin in weird places. They put tattoos on their body. But the one thing I know is that they need to meet Jesus Christ. I brought students with me from Victory Bible Institute, from Oral Roberts University, and from Rama. And so today, all these students came together. We're here just loving on people. We're praying for them, and we're introducing them to Jesus Christ. Come and see what God is doing. James Buster. Uh, I'm a professional tattoo artist, and uh, I think every person that has a tattoo should hear about Jesus. Uh, you know, the reason we're out here um, is because of the Great Commission. You know, uh, if you're if you're a believer, you have a, you have a responsibility to share your faith. There's a whole generation of people that are hurting that are dying, that need Jesus. Uh, they're, they're, they're expressing themselves uh, in, in ways that, that show everybody that, <laughs> that life hurts, you know? And that's why we're out here. We're here to reconcile people, reconcile people to God, uh, even reconcile people to themselves, you know? Uh, the Bible says that God gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And, uh, the way that we do, the way that we reconcile people is by loving them, you know, it's not by judging them, it's not about uh, judging how they look, uh, it's not about judging what they do, it's, it's about loving them and, and asking why they do the things that they do and loving them anyway. That's, that's what the Ministry of Reconciliation is about, you know. You can, uh, you can put a prayer request on the back of that too, we have like a group of ministers here that are going to be praying for people. I'm a Victory Bible Institute student, and we're just here out praying for people. And uh, I was able to pray for at least five people today. And the first person that came, uh, she was a young girl, uh, about in her early 20s. And uh, I asked her if she believed in God, and she said, yeah, but she wasn't really sure that she was going to go to heaven. So I asked her if she wanted to pray a prayer of salvation. And so I just prayed a little simple prayer with her. And then I was able to offer her a book, and uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome, an awesome experience. So I'm really glad I was here. I'm a student at Rama Bible Training College. Uh, just a quick testimony, we had a woman that was fried in the anointing of God. She used to have cancer. And uh, today, we got that awesome opportunity to witness the people here at the convention. I uh, got to pray with four different people. Um, I've, got to, I've learned to be pulled out of my comfort zone. I feel like Do you know that God loves you? You know, the, the Bible says that everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the Bible says that the price for sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that everyone who calls on Jesus will be saved from their sin. This conversation is coming to be That's okay. More uncomfortable than being suspended? Yes. Really? Believe it or not. Yeah. I mean, you go to like the extreme, and yeah. you're saying that I'm worse than a hook. Yes. 